G'day viewers, today I'll be showing you how to make your own cable stripper. Cheap and easy. If you've got a scrap pile like this, it'll cost you nothing to make. You're going to need a few things. First of all, some angle iron or 90 degree bend. The thicker, the better. I've got these. These are brackets used for antenna mounts. I'll repurpose them for this project. These two here look nice and clean. They'll do the job great. That's how they'll come together. Alright, let's get started. Secondly, you'll need some bolts to keep those two angle lines together. This is my little pile of bolts and screws. That nut and bolt will do just fine. Now I just need one more of those. You'll notice they're a bit rusty. Does not matter at all. Now you won't need to go to any trouble if you've got some clean angle iron, but these ones here have got some thread that have been welded on. I'm going to cut them off. Now I always recommend wearing safety glasses and gloves. Once that's off, now we look for a drill bit the same size as the bolts. Now it's better if the drill bit is the same size because that'll prevent any movement in the brackets. A drill press will come in very handy, makes the job much easier. And always remember, clamp down your project to prevent it from spinning out of control and creating some damage. I drill a couple of holes on one bracket and do the same with the second bracket. Once that's done, just make sure the holes line up nicely. Okay, once you've got the holes in place on your bracket, get the bolts, put them through and tighten them. When making this stripper, you've got to make sure that the brackets are evenly lined up. That is, the top surface lines up nice and flat. That'll make it easier when you're drilling down into the bracket. Now you'll notice there's no gap or minimal gap there. Today I'll be using a twin blade method to make this so just measure out where your blades end up the tip of the blade is what we're after that's a good spot there now because I'm using two blades I'll have two different size holes a three and a half and a five mil drill bit Start off with three and a half mil drill bit, nice and clean, all the way through from top to bottom. That's where our cable will be coming through. Now drill the second hole. I'm using the three and a half mil again as a pilot hole this time. 
Okay, 5 mil drill bits gone through as well. You'll notice there's two varying size holes in the top of that unit. I'm poking a bit of cable through just to make sure there's no burrs or shavings stuck in the hole. That comes through nice and easy. That means that hole's clean. Same as the second hole. Now we're halfway through, believe it or not. Now I forgot to mention the third thing you're going to need is a couple of Stanley knife or utility knife blades. So once you've got them, just loosen your nuts and bolts. Just enough so we can actually get the blades in between the two irons. That gap has now grown and that bolt has decided to come off and we'll put that back in. Now we place the blades into the holes. Now you'll notice the blades only protrude into the holes ever so slightly. What we're after is the tip of the blade to score the sheath of the cable. Now setting it up is a bit fidgety but you only need to do this once. For safety reasons, the tip of those blades should be recessed into the irons or the brackets so you don't get your hand caught or anything else in there. So we initially hand tighten the bolts just to get the alignment right. And once you've found the right alignment and tighten it up, run a cable through and it should have a score mark which makes it easy to split the cable. Once you've found the right depth, tighten the bolts, make them secure and that'll last for a very long time. So there you have it, one stripper ready to go. You've got your holes in the top, three and a half and five mil is what I need, and your two blades that score the sheath. Once they're clamped in, away you go. Awesome. G'day scrappers, thanks for watching my YouTube channels and videos. If you're wondering where to get more information from, I recommend this site, www.scrapforum.com com.au you'll find like-minded scrappers with some clever advice and some very helpful hints and tips it's also a good database on various scrapping projects including domestic commercial and industrial products if there's something you're stuck on go to this site check it out now I'm just a member and you can become a member too it's simple and free I find my fellow members very helpful and polite and some of them have got vast knowledge of the scrapping industry. So check it out, have fun, I do recommend it, so go out and have a look. Remember, be good, be kind, be careful.